Speaker Manbulele, uh, Deputy President, uh, with your answer, I find it very difficult to believe it because right at the end, exactly what was going through my mind was the balance sheet of ESCO is not saying what you are saying. And the internal affairs of ESCO are not saying what you are saying. Now, there is two things. You are also indicating that the socioeconomic impact of this is dire to our people, it already is. In fact, ESCOM has given a literal meaning to black people being hewers of wood because we've gone back to making fire outside. People cannot afford electricity. Now, with this plan, which requires a lot of money, but there is, on the other hand, a just transition, and we have to repurpose some of the energy plants. And we have the ESCOM that does not have capacity internally with a negative balance sheet. How is this all going to be done? Who is going to monitor it? Where is this money going to come from? I hear you say you don't want to bed in treasury, but where will the money be identified from? And who is going to get this electricity by 2035? Because right now, if you buy electricity for 50 rand, you get 10 units. Mm -hmm. Who is going to buy it 2035 when you have repurposed all these energy plants? Thank you very much. Honorable Deputy President. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Speaker. And thanks for the question. The Honorable Member will remember that the uh, uh, government took a decision to support ESCO uh, by giving ESCO more or less above 200, 219 billion over a span of three years. And we're still on that route. ESCOM will still continue to receive, for the next one year, will still receive its share, its support from government. But the Minister of Finance indicated that this is going to be discontinued. ESCOM must find a way of stabilizing itself. In the current situation, if you look at the balance sheet of ESCOM, ESCOM is, is, is starting to show a positive outlook. Of course, with the cushion that is coming from government. We have assisted ESCOM and all energy users like government departments, municipalities, we have put pressure on them to pay. And they are paying. National government I must report that all departments have paid. Coordinated by the Minister of Public Works, they've paid what they owe from us. And we are still encouraging municipalities, we are doing arrangements, SLPs, a joint program between ESCOM and the municipalities to allow ESCOM to collect money from users and pay what is due to municipalities. This is an attempt to try and get ESCOM back to its original uh, form in terms of finances. Currently, ESCOM is doing this uh, uh, project in Komati, repurposing that old power plant into renewable. And ESCOM is doing it with its own money. And that process is happening. We might not be moving at the pace that we are envisaging, but we are getting there. We must also say, I've said it in the, in the reply that the renewables, when you look at the first bit window, bit window one, 
The renewables were very costly to ESCOM. But if you look at bid window five, the renewables are affordable to ESCO. So that means down the line, we're expecting the price of electricity to go down because of the impact of renewables that we are opening up to the grid. So this situation is not going to stay the same. As much as we are being affected by load shedding because of our old plans, we are discontinuing these plans, we are repurposing them step by step until we stabilize our energy security. Thank you very much. The second